What's up everybody, welcome to Kagzi Gaming, I'll share new episodes of tier 13 war and legend league bases. If you're looking for secret bases from the top players in the world, check my channel membership now. If you're into daily Clash of Clans videos, subscribe now to the channel, leave a like and let's begin with today's episode. So for today I'll share with you a new attack strategy for Town Hall 13 without maxed heroes. I tried to find the army comp with the yetis and bat spells and to make it really really good. So this is the army comp I managed to build and now I will show you how to attack with it and how it goes and one attack from the legend league. This is what you use in the clan castle troops without the siege barracks you should use the wall wrecker. So on that base I look around and I see most of his uh, wizard tower and the inferno are on the right side and it's pretty good to funnel there. You should always look when attacking with bats where are the wizard tower if the infernos are on multi or single and where are the scatter shots. So I tried to attack from the right side. So do those are the spots where you need to start the funnel from. One with the Electro Dragons, the other one with the P.E.K.K.A. I always use the P.E.K.K.A. one Yeti and one Bowler. Something like this. Then I release the Wall Wrecker in the middle and once the Wizard Tower and the Scatter Shot are attacking my troops I release the Bat Spells. Now we'll see how it goes. One Electro Dragon from the right side. And like I said, the P.E.K.K.A. with one Bowler and one Yeti on the other side. I just want them to funnel, not go towards mid, which they are going as you can see. Now I use a King to help with the clean on the middle. Queen behind. It's very important not to use the Wall Wrecker right away, because you don't want the Wall Wrecker to take a lot of damage. You want him to reach at least to the middle towards the middle. Now deploy the rest of the troops using the Grand Warden because I want to defend the Wall Wrecker. It's okay that some troops are going from the outside, it's really good. Now a uh, poison on the enemy CC. And now I deployed the bat spells, as you can see, all the expos, the wizard tower and the scatter shot attacking my troops. So nobody is paying attention to my bats. To freeze on the wizard tower. And look at that, pretty much the bats are cleaning everything there. Of course the tunnel will take them out, but it's okay. And all of that with my queen going from the bottom side. It's really really good attack strategy, pretty OP. All my attacks are 90% and above. Definitely try it out and practice before of course. Tried with the queen. Now needs to take out his king. My king is gone. And it's a 3 star. Pretty easy. Now let's watch another, I have two more friendly challenges and one legendary replay because I started this attack strategy like when I was left with two legend league attacks and this is with a ring base as you can see started with the electro dragon and the P.E.K.K.A. cleaned from the right and left side and now using the wall wrecker to go inside of the center of the base using all of my troops there you can see they are going towards the middle looking on the wall wrecker I don't want him to get wrecked nice he got to the middle and I still got the grand warden ability now the queen will finish the town all off some bowlers are helping her and look I'm waiting to use the bats now when the scatter shot are attacking them and the wizard tower and all also the bottom scatter shot. Still got the two freeze spells. Look at that. Very, very nice. Now we freeze on the other scatter shot. And pretty much easy. Now only left is to clean. 
That's why you got the two wizards and one archer. The three wall breakers are for you to open walls if your queen or a king stuck outside. So it's sometimes helpful. And another three star. Now let's watch a different base, different kind. This is the other base. Now I'm starting from the town hall, so you can see it's also working when you start from the town hall, from the town hall side. And cleaning first, cleaning the, the bottom side and the top left side. Now with the help with the king and the queen, cleaning everything, wall worker with the healers and the rest of the troops. Keeping eye on the wall worker because I don't want him to get wrecked. Very nice. And I used it now, the Grand Warden ability, because of the scatter shot, the Eagle Artillery, and the Tornado. Lots of damage if I uh, didn't use the Grand Warden ability. Now they are going through the wall towards the center of the base now I use the bed spells because you can see the inferno and the scatter shot are attacking my king and all of the surroundings now I freeze on it another freeze on the wizard tower Look at that, really really nice. And the inferno can't attack my bats, now we can. Let's double the speed, it's only clean, easy to take out the inferno. And the rest, just for the clean. Another 100%, 3 stars. And now I have another replay just to show you sometimes the attack can go wrong and to show you I didn't attack many times those bases. I tried it once on each base and it re it's really really good. So this is a failed attack like I did couple of mistakes there and still I got almost 3 stars. So like before funnel from the right and left side. Now using the wall worker in the middle. Now the king ability and look at my wall worker. I tried to defend it with the grand warden but I missed it. Can't get towards the town hall, stuck outside of the base. Can't do really much nothing just to hope and use the bets correctly with my rage and freeze. Still got the queen ability, the royal champion ability. You can see one, two yetis, okay now one. A nice golem are going toward the top. The re now I'm starting with the bed spells on the single inferno. Some are going toward the town hall. But you can see I cleaned everything on the top. The ice golems did really help. Yeah, look at that. Pretty much uh, I, co I consider it a fail because I didn't defend the wall wrecker. And I know it happens a lot. People are messing out with the attacks. And this is one example which I uh, managed to do correctly after it. Now I'm taking the town hall. But after that no time to take all the bottom stuff. You can see there are three buildings. So it will be 98%. Happens. Now I'll show you the Legend League replay. Very popular base. Started with the Electro Dragon on the left side. The rest of the other funnel from the right side wanted to focus the wall worker where are the elixir storages now the help of a bowler king wall worker waiting for the wall worker to take the first layer of wall and then I will release the queen so she won't run to the sides or something now the rest of the troops and of course defending that wall worker 
this is what I want and now the single inferno pretty much attacking my old royal champion so I wanted to defend it so I wasted one freeze used the grand warden ability and the wall wrecker continue pushing really nice and as you can see the perfect place to put the bad spells is from the uh, upper right side because they need to go in a straight line and an easy freeze on the scatter shot with the inferno and the wizard tower with the correct timing of course perfect And just taking out some uh, Teslas and the uh, East Grand Warden. Took out the tunnel. It's pretty much easy three star. Only need to clean everything else. Last Tesla. And pretty much clean win. So I'll just double the speed. Last two buildings. And 100% 3 star. Definitely try this attack strategy. It's really, really good. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I will see you on the next of Clash of Clans video. See ya!